Hi, this is Petey at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and in this tutorial we're going to go and figure out how we're going to work our outdoor lighting. So this will be the final video we're going to do for our day night cycle, but we will be coming back to revisit in later tutorials. So let's open up Unity, Mono Develop, and I'm just going to go back into Unity. Now I've gone ahead and I've thrown a few lamps in, and if you look at it, it's just simply uh, 3D geometry with a point light above it. And what I'm going to want to do is at certain times of the day, like in the morning when it reaches a certain time, I'm just going to want to turn that light off. And obviously I want to turn both of them off. And then when it gets to a certain time at night again, I want to turn them back on. So I'm going to go down to my game time script. I'm going to add two more public variables and I'll just add them at the end of these public ones. So public, they'll be of type of float. And we're just going to call this morning light. I got those sausage fingers today. And the second one we're going to call well, will be a float. And we'll just call it night light. Now what these variables are responsible for is just basically saying what time of day we want morning lighting effects to happen. And of course the night one is when we want the nighting light effects to happen. So let's actually create one more and this one will be private and it will be a boolean type and we're just going to call this one uh, is morning. And I'm actually going to start that off as false. Uh, usually I do all of my, if I, like since it's going to be equal to false, I put it down here. Another way you can do it is to actually do it up here. Uh, they both work just the same. You know, after the video is done, I'll probably move mine down to here because it's just the way I do it. But I just want to show you, you can do it up here. But let's go into Unity and set this up, at least the times. So if I go to my game times uh, game object where I have the script attached, I have two more variables exposed and it's going to be ask me when I want it to the morning lighting effect to happen. So I have sunrise happening at about 0.2. So I want my lights to turn off in the morning. And these are of course when I say my lights, I mean my all my outdoor lighting. Now this lighting could be anything. I have lamp posts set up, but you could have lights uh, maybe on the outside of your tavern or just basically any lighting effects that you have that you want to be controlled throughout the day. So my morning lights, I'm going to say, I want it to be a little after that. So let's say 0.25. And my night lights, I want them to turn on uh, pretty close to sunset. So I'm just going to start at 0.6. Of course, you know, if it's not right, I can always adjust it. I'm just going to quickly save that in case Unity crashes. And next, I'm going to want to come down and convert those times we're entering right here into seconds. So I'll add it right at the end of here where we have everything else being converted to seconds. So I'm going to say morning light, then the star sign for multiplication equals, and then day cycle in seconds. So that'll convert the time that we enter in into seconds. And we want the night one done, night light, star equals, and day night or day cycle in seconds. And that should be done. Now we're going to want to come down to update. And I'm going to make the comment for it. Uh, turn on. Uh, control the outside lighting effects according to the time of day. Now before I actually fill this in, uh, for people who haven't watched the whole series, I've actually gone ahead and imported my C Sharp Messenger Extended. And for those who don't have it, I go over that in tutorial number, I believe it was 44. Let me just go quickly check. Uh, there's been quite a few. Yes, 44. 
So if you watch this video, it'll tell you exactly how to get it and include it. I didn't put a link in there. So I'll add the link to the bottom of the video in the little doobly-doo. And I'll also add it here. But what I've gone and done is exported this as a Unity package and I've just imported it back into this project as well. So I can take advantage of how to use the messengers. So let's go back into our script. And for the morning effects, I'm going to want to say if time of day. Actually, first I'm going to check to see if it is morning. So if, if it's not morning and the time of day is greater than morning what I call it, morning time, morning light. And we'll also want to make sure that the time of day is also less than night light. And if that is true, we'll want to set the is morning flag to be equal to true because it is morning now. And we're also going to want to output a message, but for now I'm just going to use my debug statement. And I'm just going to say morning, uh, in quotes though. And then underneath that, I'm going to put another if statement, but it's going to be an else if. And pretty much the exact same thing. I'm going to say if it is morning, And time of day is greater than night light. Then I want to switch is morning to equal false. And I'm going to debug out night. So let's take. Uh, actually, we don't have any scripts attached because that's already attached to our game time. But I just want to look at the console, and as the time goes by, when it hits to that point in the morning, I should get a little de debug message saying morning. Then, as it flies through the sky and it starts to set to nighttime, it should say night. And we wait for it, and there we go. So I might have my night turning on a little bit too soon, but that's okay. Like I said, you can always adjust it to your own, you know, your personal taste and flavor. So let's go ahead and add our messengers. So I'm going to add a messenger and I'm going to send the type of Boolean and it's going to be a broadcast. And the first thing it's going to want is the string that we're going to broadcast. And I'm just going to say, uh, morning light time and then since we're passing a boolean value we'll want to pass in whether it's true or false and we can just take this message copy it put it right down here and just switch it to false so when it's night time it's going to pass false so let's go make another script that actually uh, takes advantage of that message so I'm going to come down to my day night cycle create C sharp script and I'm going to call this timed light ting seems good so we'll open that up and make sure you change the class name timed lighting I'm not going to be using the start or the update but we are going to need a public void unenabled Oh, sorry, it's on enable. And we'll also need a public void on disable. And if you're wondering where these functions come from, they're from tutorial number 44 when we first went over the messenger class. So in here, I'm going to want to define a function that takes advantage of that message we're sending. So I'm going to come down here, create a private function, which is void. And I'm going to call it... Uh, toggle light. 
because that's basically what I'm doing is just toggling the light. And it's going to take a type bool, and I'm just going to call it B because we're not really, it's not that significant. It's going to be a lot of lines. So the first thing we're going to want to do in our on enable is set up a messenger of type bool dot then we want an add listener and the message we're going to listen to which was I forget already morning time light I'm just going to cut and paste that right in and then the function that's going to handle it and I'm going to call this on toggle light And I believe I spelt it right. We'll find out later. And then on your disable, you want to be able to turn it off. So messenger bool dot. And then we're going to want to remove the listener. And of course, the listener we want to remove and the function that it's tied to. So you can just cut and paste that part right in there. And then in here. So this is where the light actually gets turned on and off. So we're going to say, well, we'll take a look here. And we notice that we're passing true in the morning. So in the morning, we'll want to turn the lights off. So I'm going to say if B, which means, you know, if it's true, I'm going to want to get my component, which will be the light component. So get component and the type is light and I'm just gonna turn the enable to equal the false so that line there just turns the light off we get the component the light component which we'll just take a quick look for people who might not understand this is the light component here and then we just tell it to take its enable property and set it to false so if it's if we're passing a, a false value we can just say else and we can just cut and paste this whole line in and we'll just say true because if we're passing a false value then that means it's nighttime and I want to turn my lights on so I come out there's no errors I'm gonna make sure I actually saved it which I did and I'm gonna take this time lighting and I'm gonna drop it on my point light and my other point light so now when I start it up the lights are on but nobody's home no <laughs> and morning comes they've turned off and we'll make sure nighttime rolls around now, like I said you might want to adjust the values of when they turn on and off uh, to suit when you want your lights to be turning on and off now I could have made little particle effects coming off but the purpose of this tutorial was not to be flashy but to get the functionality working so there we have it. We can now turn our outdoor lighting on and off and you can go ahead and start adding lights to your tavern that you want to turn on at night and off in the morning or maybe you're making some sort of Christmas tree and you can now have your lights turned on and off. Anyway, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.